Hey everyone, and welcome to uh, a bonus clip for my Let's Play Super Metroid. Uh, something that I found out thanks to Jenko Jeans. He didn't want to tell uh, me right yeah, away. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to tell him because because I don't want to tell him. Yeah, that, that's why. It's a blind playthrough. That's why. So, using the the same file that you saw me at previously, I'm going to do something that I didn't know I could do, I would have done had I known. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna see. I mean, if you've already played Metroid, then you probably, probably have an idea of what the heck I intend to do. Yeah. Also give him some tips against Mother Brain. Well, now that's a bonus clip. Now they actually beat the game. We can finally, like, stop this. Now I can actually criticize him so harshly in this video. Like, see, look, he should have been doing that from the get-go, like, shooting regular missiles off the glass. Like, or he could have just stood right in front of Mother Brain, right there, and just shot her, like, rapid-fire missiles. Like, right on that same platform she's on. And I'm also sure that he made all of these similar mistakes that I made on his first Let's Play. So. Well, I'd let you know if I didn't have such terrible memory loss, but... But then again, I was probably, like, seven years old at the time, so... Regardless thereof, uh, it was uh, still it's still yeah, my my first playthrough. Yeah, I know it's still your first playthrough, but you're still casual. Just kidding. Yeah, don't touch don't touch the head. I already tried doing stuff like that to it. I tried to see if I could just power bomb the head before like it did. But all right, so. Yeah, Mother Brain's pretty sturdy. Just avoid that. I mean, you get space jump out of it. I like how she just fired the one plasma. I mean, like, even those the space pirates fire two at a time. Mother Brain, you're telling me at your peak you can only fire one plasma? Oh, wait, that's right. She only has one eye. I keep forgetting. Kind of like, when I first saw this, I thought they just took Mother Brains' head and put her on a T-Rex's body. Because look, she has the short arms and everything. Now she's going to charge the laser. Many have tried to dodge it, but there's absolutely no way to dodge it. She can absolutely protect where you go. You can hide under her legs and she'll still hit you. Even invincibility frame, she'll still hit you. Another, another cool tidbit is she does it twice on you. Health isn't low enough. Otherwise, if it was low enough, kind of like, remember Mega Man X? Yeah. Where Vile would always try to shoot that thing and paralyze you. Well, it's kind of like that. We have the third game. And I get to watch this wonderful scene again. to this was, oh god, you're still hungry? Don't you remember who I am? And slowly over time, begins giving me health back. But then I was all like, hey, uh, it's alive, you know, I, no, I can probably handle it die. at this health. No, I can handle it at this yourself. health. Save yourself. Lord. Look, I'm almost save at you. full, just run! No. In fact, I am at full and you're still there. Wants to help you. You're, you're a mom. You're a mom. Blast that sucker! Blast! No chance. <laughs> no chance of her opposition. Yeah, that's right. You're not gonna do anything. How dare you kill the Metroid Zapping? You take it. You take it and you never come back. Ever. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. Yep, it's the beam becomes straight up hyper. This is the strongest you ever see Samus in well in any 2D Metroid game, I would have to say. Because Time bomb said escape immediately. Is that what, if, I, if I said Prime, I'll be lying because I haven't played Prime, but I know what you can do with Prime. So that's why I say this is the strongest you see Samus in the The funny thing, what I like about the hyper beam is we were fighting we were fighting like what? what? Oh closer to the mic he said. Yeah. <laughs> no, we well, what I like about the hyper beam is all these spice pirates you're like blasting through are the, the kind of like the karate ones. That yeah, like were immune to all your attacks when you're reflecting. Like they reflect all your shots and so they you're like, well, <laughs> why don't you go ahead and reflect this? <laughs> this is pretty much Samus with a smash ball for infinite time. So, another thing, since since we're, we're watching the video, I'm going to put a little history. Metroid 1, Samus was adopted by the Koza after her parents were killed by Ridley. Her parents were killed by Ridley and she was three years old. What happened was she used to live on a mining, a mining planet, a mining colony, where their parents and the Koza went. The Koza went to her parents because they wanted... Whoops. They wanted a certain material that was located on the planet. But Samus's father didn't want to give up the material because they worked hard for it, and it's the Galactic Federation that's paying them for it. So, um, he did it, so the Kozo left. Met Sa Samus, however, did bond with one of the, the Kozo. I think his name was Goldberg. likely bonding, but that was it, they left, and then the space pirates, led by Ridley, were looking for the same material, the same rock the Koza was, so it led them to the mining planet, and what happened was, Ridley and the space pirates came, they killed their parents, they killed everybody on there except for Samus, who Samus was later found, found by, there was a distress call they sent to the Kozo, and the Kozo went and took Samus and adopted her, she couldn't so uh, here, Planet Zeus. So here, we're gonna get to the part where... Yeah, the the lovely part that I wish I had known, because I totally would have done it on the first one if I had the, yeah, the prior knowledge of it. Three, but... I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't do this on the first part, because I didn't. But, yeah. See, these fellas here, I could have saved them, apparently. I yeah, the, the, the animals that hit Hilly, don't worry. Oh. Just, uh, <laughs> what are you doing?! Out of here. But yeah, the three the three koala like animals that teach you how to wall jump and the one bird that teaches you how to shine spark you can save them. They later they appear in a later Metroid game, which I won't say but like it is canon that they get saved. So regardless of what you do, they get saved here. It's just a nice little take it, nice little and then we get the heck out of here. There we go. High five. You see the animals. More than PETA has ever done in their life. <laughs> Probably. Most likely. Yeah. And that's it. And the exact same thing minus the fact that now I know that I saved them. Yeah. So a little bit more about what I was saying was Samus was adopted by the Kozo. Um, originally the Kozo had created Mother Brain as an intelligent AI to help uh, breed Metroids. Metroids were originally bred by the Kozo because they wanted to harness, you know, it's a uh, energy like, um, what it's called? The way it absorbs energy. They felt like it could have helped. But, um, yeah, Samus ends up getting adopted. They put her in the power suit at the age of three and she and she needs that to grow on the planet on Zeus. So she was practically raised on this planet. And now it's destroyed. Well, I mean, granted, Super Metroid does take place second to last, no, third to last in the timeline. Out of all Metroid games. Mother Brain, you do have a history with Samus and Mother Brain always hating 
always disliked each other because Mother Brain always thought of Samus as a weak human. Not to mention Mother Brain was the one who betrayed the Kozo, teamed up with Ridley and the Space Pirates to eliminate all the Kozo, take all their technology, wanted to breed Metroids for galactic dominance. So you do you do have a history with Mother Brain. Well, now Mother Brain is dead. Hopefully for good. Hopefully. I'd say more, but I'm not sure. But yeah. Um, so I'm gonna put a big spoiler tag just in case. Uh, yeah, put a, put a spoiler tag. This is all. Granted, if you played Zero Mission, they're really not gonna tell you this either. If you play Metroid 1, they're not going to tell you this. You would actually have to go to the Wikipedia, the Metroid Wiki, and just read about Samus, Samus' history. I don't think it... Maybe in the Prime Trilogy they'll probably tell you, because the Prime Trilogy has a lot of information when you scan different enemies and relics and stuff. So I think that's what I had going for it. Expanded the lore. Yeah. This was a... This was a fun playthrough to watch. Also, someone played blind. Great game. Aged well, actually. Like there are games that don't age well, and like you, you come back to them today, and you're like, man, how did I ever play this as a kid? But this is a game I could see. I could see me coming back to a few years if you really wanted to like replay it. Sometimes I do, but I already know the best games. I don't want to keep replaying. I want to see if anyone else learns from these type of games, makes better games, and then, you know, you'll see the influence it had. So yeah, another thing is, depending on how fast you beat the game depends on what form you'll see Samus at the end. In this case, Lee got the second best ending, 3 to 10 hours of play time, which is, I mean, it's pretty standard for someone on the first playthrough. The first, to get the best ending, you have to be in less than three hours. But of course, that's for people who've like, played the game already. And the worst ending is ten hours. High. But yeah, you got the second best ending. Not bad. And at 77%, so... There you have it. Uh, slightly different ending this time one in which I went ahead and saved it and uh, I will go ahead and give this this warning do not save try to make two files or copy a file over and save right before you enter mother brain's area because as soon as you reach there you will reach a point of no return oh well, that would not be good see I would have told Lee about it except I just found this out a few minutes ago on the game facts boards where people were talking about uh, is this the point of no return? Yeah, you're pretty much stuck here. What you did is what that is. Oh well. It was a, it was a good playthrough nonetheless. So there you have it. Uh, slightly happier ending where the animals are specifically saved by Samus and don't just show up in another Metroid game like nothing ever happened. Well, it is canon. They, they are saved, period. Yeah, but this time I went ahead and uh, <laughs> actually, actually saved, saved them. them. So awesome. makes me makes me feel a little better. So there you have it. That's it. That was the uh, the bonus clip I wanted to do for this playthrough, just so that you could see me save the animals. And so yeah. So I will see you in the next let's play. Till then. Later.